Change the voicing to uh, a fourth. This guy. Uh, the uh, expression pedal. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> slowly with your foot, just okay. bring that up.
because it's a fourth up and a fourth down. Right. And so it sounds so cool if you just... So wait, so if you're like... <laughs> whatever mm. and i want to do like just take the solo to the next stage got to just ignorantly shred but on a long note though like you're doing no no no, no no oh like, so you're just... like you're like no <laughs> a nice little you have this exact uh chorus in your h9 so try that that's a pretty cool chorus okay. what's it called micro micro pitch, micro pitch. <laughs> Concert C. Uh, here's delicately in concert C. It's a song I'm writing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> seven or minor seven depending on the note and the chord in second oh, okay. position right okay the second inversion i mean right that's first that's uh root position mm -hmm. and then this will just change the voicing to a sus chord okay <laughs> how much crunchiness you get. Uh, 
Uh, this is, is this the right one? Yeah. So check this out. Just a hold a, um, hold a concert C. <laughs> So, this one, that's a lot of pedals <laughs> all at once. So you mean you can't just give it to me? You can't do it. You can do some of it. So you'd be able to, with your setup, do this. You'd be able to do this. So what was that? So that is very simple, actually. So you have, this is first in the chain. And that's just like your H9, mm -hmm. and that's just doing a diatonic third up. Mm -hmm. And then this is coming after it, doing either a fourth or a fifth down. So it's taking that major third or that minor third and adding to it a transposed version of it down. Gotcha. So you get either a major seven or a minor seven chord. But you can do all that in Unitide, though, but it's kind of what you were saying, like with a larger exactly. interval leap. It's not going to sound as clean. Gotcha. And it just, it, this has a much more warm sound once you do that because of the way that the lower notes, the articulation, less so the tone, but the articulation is, is recreated. But what I also put on it is this, mm -hmm. which gives you that wah, which really kind of softens it even more. Yes. Right? And then the delay on it. My, that was like one of the first sounds I ever made three boards ago. Three boards ago? Yeah. Right. Cool. Yep. So awesome. that's, uh, Thank you for that's a small me. amount of what can be done. Like it's, it, it's, it's really meant to be super functional and super crazy all at the same time. So one of the common things that I do in, you know, these basic standard horn section situations mm -hmm. is that I'll... So, uh... <laughs> Sign me up. I'll take all your gigs. Yeah, great. Yeah. And then, um, there was one more that I thought I wanted to show you. I forget. Eh, it's not important. But yeah, so there's a lot. So I think, I think the key is, when you're starting out, it can be really intimidating.